Now, no matter what size segments you actually translate, Snowball is still going to be working in the background to extract whatever additional terminology and shorter segments it can find for reuse. So you'll eventually start seeing Snowball suggesting translations for individual words and shorter phrases, even though you never input them directly. And we got an example of this here. Now you can see there's nothing in the database right now for the word lampe. Okay. Now let me just suggest. Uh, let me just select the entire sentence, and I'll translate it all at once. This is a lamp. Okay. And now, what happens? Uh, in Snowball, you can see that it's gone and compared what I had said before. Oh, it hasn't done it yet. I have to wait a little bit. I had to slow this down a little bit for the presentation. Okay, I think it's come in now. Uh, yeah, um, we're using a lot of uh, a lot of com computing power just for the presentation, so I had to slow Snowball's processing down just a bit here. But uh, what you can see, is Snowball has compared that phrase that I had before. This is a cat. With this is a lamp. And it's figured out all by itself, and it's not too hard for people to do this, but for the computer, it wasn't too easy to get it to, to, to do this. It's figured out that lamp must mean a lamp, or lamp must mean lamp. So as you work, you'll notice that your database continues to grow in size, even if you're not doing any translating, because Snowball is constantly analyzing your translation memory in the background, looking for terms and phrases that may be useful in the future. So. What it means is you don't have to worry about always translating one word at a time. You don't have to worry if you're importing translation memory data that only has full sentences. You're going to start seeing this snowball effect very quickly anyway.